This depicts what we allege to be a massive and complex fraudulent enterprise. The fallout continues from last week's bombshell, that state and federal complaint alleging two well-connected developers, Bill Stanger and Ariel Kuros of JPEAK and Kuberk Resorts, had built hundreds of millions of dollars from foreign investors through the EB-5 green card program. Now calls for an independent commission to investigate. In short, what did the governor know? When did he know it? And what did he do about it? Democrat Peter Galbraith, a sharp critic of Vermont's lax ethics and campaign finance laws, who's now running for governor, calling for a special panel appointed by the chief justice to probe ties between the developers and the state. There is good reason to suspect that the Quiros Stanger projects receive special treatment. But Shumlin administration aides are pushing back hard against any suggestion they're even considering destroying old email tied to the case. The administration says all staff emails related to the EB-5 program or the JPEAK developers have been preserved. In fact, were ordered held by the attorney general months ago. Last week, Governor Shumlin said he felt betrayed, calling it a dark day after Stanger and Kuros had given the Northeast Kingdom hope for a better economy. Uh, needless to say, uh, I as governor and former governors uh, have promoted EB -5's, Vermont's EB-5 Regional Center uh, with, with enthusiasm. Noting the administration had spent months trying to unravel the alleged fraud despite lavish campaign contributions he and the Democratic Party had received from both developers for years.